What I notice about some artists, especially modern and contemporary artists, is that they have their favorite subjects that eventually become what they are known for. Andy Warhol had his pop culture references. Roy Lichtenstein had his comic book style. Our very own national artist, Malang Santos, had his women. I remember reading how fellow national artist Jay Elizalde Navarro, who painted different themes and styles, advised Malang to go beyond his pretty women and flowers, which the latter did not take kindly. I'm not taking sides. Sometimes it's just nice to see artists interpret and reinterpret the same subject. And then sometimes it's a breath of fresh air to see them paint something totally different. But Reggie Lim gives us the best of both the worlds. He has his favorite subject, vintage suitcases, and his works are different each time. Nothing is as impersonal as a suitcase, especially one with a design that is from a bygone era. What makes it personal is what is done to it. In this painting, so far the only thing that is done to only one piece is attaching that Hello Kitty bag tag, which tells us there's a female behind it. The owner can be a young girl or a mature woman reliving her days as a young girl. The rest are still as impersonal as ever. To have one luggage on top of another suggests to me that we may be at an uke ukai. And then we have a luggage that already has an owner. It has a tag, but it's partially drawn, so it doesn't give as much personal information. But by the looks of the tag, it is someone who is practical, as it's a generic tag. The color blue, as much as some people try to tell us that colors are gender neutral, will always be associated with the male. And that gives us a clue to the owner and to his personality. He could have chosen black or brown, but he still wants some color, and blue is his best bet. Looking at the items that our man is packing, we can see that he loves the outdoors. We have the helmet, the lantern, the fan, the camera, the speaker, and the headphones. He is also conscious of his time, even though he has a cell phone, reactively, he still needs an old fashioned alarm clock. This is in tune with this taste for something old like his luggage, his camera, and that old mobile phone, which I doubt still works. Why is he bringing it with him? If he's not wearing his helmet, he has his fedora hat to protect his head from the elements. This is one guy who really plans on being outdoors to enjoy his books, Rubik's Cube, and yo-yo. He needs to pack his glasses better, though, otherwise they will break. Reggie Lim paints us a pyramid, but one with a gaping hole. Usually in art, when there's a pyramid, their center is the focal point, but we don't see any here. The next most important in a pyramid is the tip, and we have the cell phone in a selfie stick. More than making adventure and outdoorsy memories, our guy makes sure he documents them. Perhaps the empty space in the pyramid implies that he is still chasing that elusive adventure. We see a dirty white wall radiating to something yellowish and covered by a black table. The blandness of the background reminds me of budget hotels. As much as our guy is the outdoor type, he is not above making use of a sheltered hotel room. I mentioned how Reggie Lim may have the suitcase as his muse, but he doesn't paint them the same each time, especially with this one. The way the handle and the locks are painted, it's almost like an afterthought. The luggage is not the point of the message, but the montage is. We have one that might remind us of the famous Vespa scene of Audrey Hepburn's debut movie, Roman Holiday. And then we have Pulp Fiction, a cheesy romance novel cover with an equally cheesy romantic date scene. Perhaps the scenes are not just the external design of the luggage, but the memories it has created for its owner. If Reggie Lim ever decides to make an actual suitcase with this design, may I be the first to say, Mine? Painting the same thing without making it look like it's the same thing is a skill that is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.